Hello friends, I hope you're doing well and you're getting ready for the spring season. It will be here soon. So hang in there friends. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the seeds I'll be starting in March or Celosia, King Coral. We have Amaranth, Joseph's Coat. That will take 75 days to bloom and it's perfect for the container. I went over these seeds in another video so... I can link that down below for you with my seed haul. And then we have Cleome Rose Queen, which will take 60 days to bloom. And then we have Globe Amaranth. And we have Celosia. This is the Crested Mixed Colors. So these on average will take 10 to 14 days or 7 to 14 weeks so these have two weeks window and over here these two guys here this is the straw flower and the flamingo silosha these take much longer these will take 14 to 21 days to germinate so these two will be planted in their own container and the rest of these I'll be planted in one tray because they take around the same time to germinate. So that way I don't have to worry about which side did not germinate and which side germinate. And this side need more light, this side doesn't need more light and all of that. So that's why I'm doing them in their own sets of trays. Alright, so now it's March. So these going to take an average of I think like four to six weeks or so or six to eight let me see what this one says yep four to six weeks yep four to six weeks these will take just want to make sure i have nice seedlings ready to put out in the garden once my frost date has passed i'm in zone 6b technically but the new usda zone put me in zone 7a but nevertheless i'm still using zone 6b so my frosts would probably end sometime in April if I use 7A. If I use 6B, it would end like May 15th. But I should have nice big seedlings to go out in the garden so that way I could have beautiful blooms for my garden. So these are the seeds we'll start in in March. Side. So first, as you may know, you need your cell tray. I got this from Walmart. I think it was like $5 and change. And I'm using my Jiffy and Organic Seed Starting Mix. And I just use an old container I have here with a spatula, half broken spatula. And I have my hot water already boiled. The reason for the hot water is to kill any fungus or bacteria in the soil. It will help to kill it. Because you know when you start your seeds, you always see those gnats coming around, those tiny flies. So the hot water will kill any germs, so to speak, in the soil. Very important, when you start your seeds from inside, you must use seed starting mix. Not potting soil. I know potting soil is cheaper. Not garden soil is cheaper. But you have to use a seed starting mix. It will help the seeds to germinate and give you those beautiful blooms, okay? And this is the Jiffy brand I'm using here. All right, friends, so let's get the mix ready. I already started some here, but it's pretty easy. This is what the consistency should look like. Like you're making brownie, that's what they say. But make sure you have your water. I just boil this in the microwave in this glass cup and be careful, it's very, very hot. So anyway, so let's get these seeds started. And let me go over the reason why I chose these seeds. So as you can see, some of them, this blooms 60 days, this one blooms 75 days. And the instructions are on the back of the seed packet. This Cleome will take 10 to 14 days to germinate. And it takes 60 to 70 days to bloom. I want to give account for two weeks. So these will germinate, I would say, around almost mid-March. And then it takes 60 to 70 days to bloom. So in order for you to be ahead or on your game, so to speak, you have to make sure, look at your hardy zone and when your frost will end. I'm in zone 6B and the USDA, United States of Department of Agriculture, 
our zones recently changed and technically i'm now in zone 7a but my natural zone is 6b so if you want to know when is your hardy zone you simply put your zip code in google and it tells you what zone you belong to and that's how you know when you should start your seeds or when you should plant your seedlings outside or even what plants you should get at the garden center and if they will come back for you based upon your hardy zones so i'm starting my seeds now so that way i have a jump start and i will have beautiful blooms outside in the garden right last year i was behind but this year guess what it's only gonna get better and i have my labels already so as you do your seeds make sure you prep first because it's easy to mix up all these seeds right prep first and most of these seeds here they're gonna take average of two weeks to germinate so these guys germinate within 21 days they said about 21 days time in so i'm dedicating their own setup for them so what i have over here i have a tray here for them and I'm using a salad spinach dome to help with the condensation to act as a greenhouse. So get creative, look around your house. You don't have to go out and buy stuff. Look around your house and get creative. So the straw flower and the flamingo silosha, they should be germinating around the same time. So then I don't have to worry about, okay, some not ready, some ready. So that's why I have them in their own setup here. And it's important you have your stuff covered. So if you have empties like just this alone, like the tray alone, you can simply get some plastic wrap and cover it, okay? But very important, you rest this on a tray or a plate. The water is gonna leak out at the holes and you don't wanna make a mess in your house. Well, I don't wanna make a mess in my house. <laughs> but make sure if you don't have something like this to reuse, make sure you have Put it on a plate and then get some plastic wrap and cover it to help with condensation so that's another way to do it you don't have to go out and spend money to make this work get creative think out of the box anyway friends so i just wanted to share that with you um let's get these out of the pack so i don't mix them up these guys stay over here and we're gonna have these taken care of and then let's get these seeds in here all right friends when you're doing this take your time it takes a while especially if you have to try to make sure the soil is in these cells properly so what i did i went through all of them i took this spoon and just pressed on it make sure the there's make sure there's no bubbles in there and i can't show you but what i did i held both ends and i did this just to make sure the soil goes down and then when i saw like like a loose error i just added more soil so take your time make sure you do it properly okay so i'm happy with this now so we're gonna take our time and we're gonna sow the seeds and remember with the seeds sow according to the seed packet so this one says a quarter to half inch all right so that's what we're gonna do and then the Joseph Code said they should be sown an eighth of an inch. So take your time and do according to the packet instructions. And to make my life easy, I just have this tiny. To make my life easy, I have this old ice pick. So I'm just gonna take my time and just eyeball the measurement from it and then put the seeds in here. I do, I just have this white plate here so i'm gonna put the seeds on here so that way it's easy for me to see because some of these seeds are really really tiny and then take my time and put them here i'm going to do two seed per cell so i'm just gonna like do this and put two seeds in there i know sometimes i feel like i waste the seeds when i put a ton of them on here but i'm just gonna take my time and do two hopefully they germinate and remember i have a lot this is like 72 tray cells right that's a lot of plants so if some germinate it's okay once i get a few plants to put in my garden so i'll do about two seeds per cell and see what happens all right Friends, find some special way to make sure you identify what plants you have here because when they start to germinate, it's going to be hard to tell which is which. So I just 
stick my homemade tags in here or you could take a picture whatever works for you but try some special ways so that way you know what is what. all right so the dome is on the dome helps with condensation you should put this in an area where you get bright sunlight because the seeds will need the light and the heat to help it germinate if you have a setup station with your heating pads that's awesome i don't have one of that i probably would probably do one for next season but for now this is how i start my seeds from inside so i'm gonna put this by a window that where i get a lot of bright sunlight to help with the germination process and as the days go by i'll monitor the tray to make sure the soil is still moist if you see the soil is drying out take your spray bottle and you could spray on top or you can simply lift right here and just put some water in there you put some water in there and the water will go up from the bottom and it will moisture the soil whichever way you prefer all right anyway friends thank you for being here hope you like this video and i'll give you some updates all right see you next time cheers